hello and welcome friends so in this video we will see how to use ngx data table in ionic framework so i have created one application as you can see it have the all the import details on the front end so we can sort the data based on employee id then we can sort the data based on the employee name and then we have the department also so we can sort uh, based on the department also and the theme we can able to change it here like bootstrap then if like uh, now this one is the dark theme and when you you click on the dark it will come to bootstrap so this is the bootstrap theme and this one is the dark theme okay so as you can see that uh, ngx data table you can go through the documentation and demos also we have uh, lots of demo in for ngx data table so these are the features of that so in this video we are going to implement uh, this sorting feature uh, based on uh, like whatever the field we have and the theme change like uh, the css which is getting changed on click we'll see these two things in this video so recently in some video we have created this application where we have the employee services like this employee services uh, have the multiple function which is going to interact with my uh, spring boot register api and using http so as you can see get all employee add employee get employee by id then update and delete employee so i'm passing this data based on the http get response then post then again get uh, then put and then delete so this uh, thing we have created in a recent video and uh, this thing i am uh, uh, getting like i am ac accessing these uh, details in my employee details space.ts and in that uh, using uh, this employee service i am calling the function one by one and i am uh, putting this data to my the front to my front end okay so i will share this uh, project link in the description please go through it once so that uh, we are able to get the data on the front end like uh, this is the normal data like name and marketing department these are the department then uh, we are able to add uh, like add employee then we can uh, we are able to edit and we are able to delete the employee in this uh, project so i'm going to use this project in this uh, uh, this ngx data table example so my rest api is running uh, let me show you that also so my rest api is running on the tomcat server uh, it is the rest api employee rest api which uh, i will share the link of this uh, uh, spring rest api also so just go through it once so this is spring rest api is communicating with my database oracle and uh, from oracle we are getting data in the spring and uh, i am calling the spring rest api in employee service.ts file using http and uh, these are getting printed on my uh, front end employee details page.html file okay so to use the ngx data table we need to install the ngx data table so you need to type this command npm install at uh, swimlane ngx data table hyphen hyphen save so just uh, uh, hit enter and let it install so this uh, and uh, uh, this uh, data table has been installed here but uh, we are getting some warning so just run the npm audit fix so now it got fixed now we need to add a css property in uh, global dot css uh, this uh, ngx tradable uh, css property we need to add it here so you just need to import simlin ngx data table index dot css then themes bootstrap dot css theme dark dot css and theme material dot css and uh, icon dot css so these things we required from the swim lane just save it and uh, let me see if it got compiled again 
yeah it is compiling again so it compiled successfully and uh, but uh, not a big change here so let me add some feature of the nginx data table before going there let me show you the pro folder structure of uh, what we have added just uh, here so just go inside the node modules and add swim lane inside that we have nginx data table and here we have the multiple property that index.css and inside themes we have bootstrap dark and material.css so we can uh, use this thing based on our requirement now let me add uh, something on the home page.ts file oh sorry home page.html so that we can use some property of this uh, nginx data table so i need to remove this item because uh, we are going to show it by our own using nginx data table so let uh, this we can that add circle and add employee part we no need to change some uh, like uh, nothing here so we, uh, i'm going to add it some property nginx property here so yeah so this is nginx data table empl list then table we required ngx uh, ng class as table style so this table style is coming from my uh, this employee detail space dot ts so let me define one table style property by default one so by default i want to use uh, bootstrap property bootstrap so by default this property i want to use okay so this will be my uh, ng this will be my class as bootstrap and row height as auto header height as 50 column mode as uh, like uh, we we can pass as force and then this property this ngx column name and employee id tab name yeah, this emp that employee name uh, let me show you that also from where we are getting so in this uh, project we have defined one employee module.ts file so this is employee module.ts file in that we have we employee id employee name and depth name and based on that uh, we can put the column name also so the column name name can be same as the that uh, employee model .ts file properties so i'm going to put that only here and then uh, the other column is for my action in that i need to pass uh, one uh, this id like uh, one icon for create and one icon for my delete button so i'm passing that row.emp id so row will be my this value or uh, this employee uh, one row is specific to that one employee and then when passing the row dot employee ID and row dot employee ID to my update employee function uh, update employee mapping and uh, delete employee function okay just save it and we'll get a result on the front end so it compiled successfully here now inside the chrome we are getting error like ngx data table is not uh, isn't known property of ngx data table so we need to add it uh, in employee details module.ts like we need to import the ngx data table so just import it and uh, after the icon model we can add the ngx model also now save it so it compiled successfully and yeah we are getting able to fetch the details and wait for the sorting feature yeah so we are able to get the employee data on the front end and we are able to sort the details so employee id in ascending and descending order we are able to sort
let me check the employee name yep and dep name also we are able to sort it and now we are able to, now let me add the theme also so here i will add the uh, iron button and i'm calling the function change style and tables time the default value i'm going to print here and on click on table style i will call the change style function and change style function i will define in uh, import details mod uh, import details page dot ts file so in import details page dot ts file let me add the change employee change style function so after this we can add uh, let me check if there is any error no to refresh delete employee delete employee is the last function and after closing yeah so what it will do it will check this dot table style equal equals to dark if that is the dark then it will change to the bootstrap otherwise it will change to the dark okay so and default uh, table style is the bootstrap just save it so it compiled successfully now just go on the front end so we are getting the bootstrap as the default we have set here as bootstrap theme only and the sorting working properly here based on employee ID, employee name and department name also and let me click on the theme so yeah so now this one is the dark and the value also changed here and now it's bootstrap then again dark bootstrap now let me add one value also as uh, let me see if all the functions working properly so just add abc as it and save it so you can see also the hibernate logs so add employees in post saving it so it is able to insert the data now just uh, refresh it again so now 10 data are coming and just sorted by employee name we are getting abc on the first okay now let me edit the abc so now it is in update so we'll say rupa here now just save it so details updated for rupa now just refresh it again and now sort with the employee id so 410 we are getting as the rupa and dep name is also able to sort uh, now just again go again with the employee id and now delete it so yes agree so we are able to delete the details also now if you will refresh it again now we are getting the 9 data and 410 is deleted so it will not come here okay so what we have done in this video first uh, we have added the npm that uh, like we have added uh, we have installed the swim lane of ngx uh, data table and we saved it here and then we have added the css property inside uh, global.scss this css property okay then after that uh, everything on the home page so ngx data table we have added and then uh, these all the property rows as the EMPL list so EMPL list will have the employee details so it will be in employee details page.ts file so EMPL list have the all the data on load all function we are calling the like ng on it we can we are calling the load all function and load all function are saving the data in the this dot employee list and we are calling this employee list on the front end in rows 
and these are the NGX data table property and then NGX class as the table style everything the properties which uh, already defined in the NGX data table so, and the column and the name and this uh, employee property should be the same so that we are uh, we can get the data on the front end and then action we have defined other column so using this you can define the custom column also if you want the employee id it will uh, like it will show the some different name you can do that also so these icons are based on the router link and the click function we are calling the function defined on the back end as row.emp id and row.emp id uh, like uh, it requires the employee ID so we are passing the employee ID using that row okay and the uh, above one we have added uh, this one iron, iron button as and we are calling the change style function and we are printing also table style so and in this employee page details dot page ts we have defined the table style as bootstrap by default and uh, then on click on the change style we are calling the function and we are changing the property of the table style so that's all in this video if you have any doubt and any question then please put in the comment section and i will definitely reply on that and please subscribe to my channel friends thank you